Welcome to this information film about UAB's control unit for hook lifts. In this video, we will look at EcoDrive's standard and optional functions. For more information about the control unit, refer to the manual provided with the hook lift or alternatively visit UAB's website, uab.se. The control unit consists of three main parts. The emergency stop button, which stops the hydraulic pump, the joystick, which controls the hook lift, and the user interface, which displays information. To tip the hook lift, pull the joystick backwards. To lower the hook lift, push the joystick forwards. To move the hook post backwards, turn the joystick anti-clockwise and clockwise to move it forward. Hook lifts that are equipped with a folding hook post are called LA models. To move the hook post down, push the joystick left and push it to the right to move the folding hook post up. The top of the joystick has two buttons. The bottom one has a raised dot on it. The top one does not. The bottom button is used for operating fast drive mode. To operate fast tipping, keep the bottom button pressed and pull the joystick backwards. To operate fast lowering, keep the bottom button pressed and push the joystick forwards. The top button is used for activating free lowering. This is used after tipping a load and allows the user to lower the body to the parked position automatically, hands free. The top button is also used to initiate auto cycle. This automatically loads or unloads a body. To unload a body, first open the hydraulic lock manually and then keep the top button pressed and pull the joystick backwards. To load a body, keep the top button pressed and move the joystick upwards. The display has four buttons, a directional button and an OK button. Depending on the function selected, the buttons will either act as a momentary switch or a maintained switch. The hydraulic lock is a momentary switch. Pressing it will activate the hydraulic lock and when released, the function will stop. The buttons for lighting, on the other hand, are maintained switches. When the button for the lighting is pressed, you can see on the display that an icon is shown indicating that it is active. It will stay active until the button is pressed again. The controller can display more than one page setup. The vehicle setup page is selected in this case. To change the page, press the left right directional button. We are now in the trailer page setup. The function associated with each button can be changed. To do this, press and hold down both the button and the OK button until a green rectangle is shown on the display. To select the new function, press the up and down directional button to select the desired function. And then once selected, confirm with the OK button. The new function, in this case flashing light, can then be activated and deactivated. The OK button can be used to control the background lighting of the user interface. Simply press it once, twice or three times to change the intensity. 0% 
20% and 100%. To view the service menu, simply press the OK button for a few seconds until the service menu is displayed. The service page has five different menus. The first page shows the PTO time, the number of tippings and shuntings, and the total time left till service. The second page menu displays the model and the software installed for the display and the hook lift. The third menu displays the hydraulic pressure in real time, which is highlighted in green. And on the right hand side are the inductive sensor readings, which are shown in white. If a cell is shown in white, it is not active. If it is shown in green, it is active. The fact that the sensors are highlighted green when active allows for easy fault tracing. At the bottom of the screen is information about the joystick. This can be used to check that the joystick is functioning correctly. As seen when the joystick is operated, the various cells light green, indicating that that movement of the joystick is active. The fourth page displays a number of parameters. These are used by service technicians to identify faults. The fifth menu displays the fail safe mode. In the event of a failure in the hook lift system, the fail safe mode can be activated. This disables all the sensors on the hook lift and allows it to be operated for a short period of time. To activate the fail safe mode, simply press the two buttons and keep them pressed down until the text fail circuit lege is displayed in the display. It is then possible to operate the hook lift for a short period of time only. Let's now look at the display, the icons and their meanings. Night mode, reduced lighting intensity. Work lighting, on. Reverse lights, on. Flashing light on. Center lock open. Safety hook open. Hydraulic lock open. Hydraulic pump on. Axle lift for the trailer. Automatic flap, trailer. Automatic flap for the vehicle. The hook lift is parked. Automatic flap, vehicle is active. Friction free drive. Trailer tip up. Trailer tip down. Draw bar. Hydraulic lock lock. Hydraulic lock open. Automatic flap vehicle activate deactivate. Adjustable hydraulic flow start stop. Salt spreader, start, stop. Slush flaps, start, stop. Snow plow, float mode. Automatic plow up on reverse. Crane, start, stop. Axle lift trailer, start, stop. Position memory system. 
For more information regarding the icons or the control unit, refer to UAB's online manuals at uab.se.